The battery is in their third week on the rock. They've spent time taking part in water sports and adventure training, as well as trekking up the rock during their time here so far. I think, I think from our perspective, um, from, a, from, from the battery side, being one of the five um, Gibraltar batteries in the Royal Artillery, um, it brings another dynamic to the training as well, to be able to get it back into the tunnels um, that are sort of forebearers, forebearers fought um, you know, back in the Great Siege and that sort of thing. There's a really nice connection between, between that, so it does add a different dynamic. Sure. So tell me about the five battery royal artillery's close association with the rock. You've mentioned the history. Tell me a little bit more about that. So, um, so obviously, as I alluded to there, that we're one of five um, batteries within the Royal Artillery uh, that hold the honour title of, of Gibraltar, 1779 to 83. Um, and they were, you know, known as companies at the time, uh, based on the rock fought here during the Great Siege. Um, and for us, um, as as five battery. Um, one of the you know, one of the senior batteries within the Royal, Royal Regiment. Um, we had the honour back in '85 to be the first uh, Royal Artillery battery um, to exercise the freedom of the city of Gibraltar, um, and then you know the best part of uh, four decades later to be able to do it again as the second time, uh, you know, is 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 really quite special. So um, the battery it really marks um, marks a really nice time or a really nice event within their their history. An important moment for everyone involved yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone from from young gunner up to um, the, uh, the three star general, the master gunner St James's Park, who was there on the on the day, stood next to her worship the the, the mayor, um, which is uh, which is yeah really special.